Hi guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Honest Try TV. Today we're going to be making chow mein with fresh ramen and stir-fried vegetables from Sunbasket. Um, I have four servings, hence two packages with two servings each. So let's uh, jump into it and see what we got going on. recipe sorry a recipe <laughs> this is what we're doing or this is what we're gonna try to do and 20 minutes which is great because I'm starving and so is Jason and um, this is our lunch so I need to hurry up and finish because I got work to do that I need to get back to all right so um, there's all of our ingredients there should be a protein included Either chicken, steak, or pork strips, shrimp, or scallops, tofu, or plant-based chicken. I am probably went with chicken or pork strips, knowing me. So let's just get all of our ingredients out. And let me see if I can find our... um our missing protein. Be right back. Okay, so I found pork strips. <laughs> and because I'm too lazy to go and look, um, to go sign the, okay, some basket. They don't tell you which pork you, which, which protein you selected, right? They give you all these options, which is wonderful, which I love, which is unique to them as far as I can, I'm concerned because I haven't experienced another um, food service that does something different. Um, they usually just give you one option for a protein and Godspeed, but then they don't tell you. They don't remind you which option you chose. So that's a little bit of a challenge. Um, but screw it. We're going to go with the pork strips. That feels about right. So the first thing we're going to do is bring a medium sauce pot of water to boil, and then we're going to stir in our ramen. And cook for four minutes and then rinse under cold water and while the water is heating and the ramen is cooking you're supposed to prepare your protein so let's get all of this out on the table or on the oven sorry <laughs> on the stovetop um, so in a wok or large frying pan I do have my wok already on the stove but I'm reserving that for dumplings so we're gonna use a large frying pan um, we're gonna heat up some oil add our protein which if I have, let's see, where's the pork? Pork, pork, pork. Pork is about six minutes. And cook, that's it. You're not seasoning it, no salt and pepper. That's it. Do not clean the pan, meanwhile prepare the vegetables. So we're basically supposed to put all this on at the same time. So let me go ahead and get these two things prepped. Uh, be right back. Okay, so I've got uh, my pot of water heating, my pan of oil heating. Let's look at our veggies. So we need to thinly slice the celery on the diagonal. Where's the celery? Oh, there it is. Okay. One, two. Okay. We're going to trim scallions, thinly sliced scallions, keeping whites and greens separate. Um, we're going to cut the zucchini into half moons. All right, let's grab a cutting board and get that going. Okay, we're back. Make sure I got that clean. <clears throat> I'm going to slice off the ends. Let me scooch you around so you can actually see what I'm doing. Slice off the ends. And then we're doing uh, the quarter thick half moons. So we're going to slice down the middle. And then we're going to lay these flat so that they don't move. 
I'm going to do this fashions. Right. Next up, we've got. Ooh, this needs to be washed. Okay. Let's start over here. to the greens. And get it off. All right. Let's go throw this on the stove. Okay. Come on over here. We're going to start with the um, pork. And now, without touching it, <laughs> I'm going to dump my uh, ramen. Oh, wait, it's not boiling. Wait, it's not boiling. Okay, I'm not dumping my ramen. I'm going to set my timer. Six minutes. Hopefully in another two, our, um, our water will be boiling. And then I can go ahead and dump this on. I'm going to prepare it and open the packages. And I'll just set these over here and have them ready to go. In the meantime, let me double check that I'm not supposed to salt, pepper, or do anything at all to this uh, pork. I'm a little uncomfortable with that. Uh, yeah, I am supposed to season lightly with salt and pepper. Yay! I knew that was looking a little weird. Okay, so we're at four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add the ramen. There we go. The ramen's in the pot. It's going to go for three to four minutes. And then we're going to pull it out and uh, it's cold water, but I want, I want things going. These separate this so it won't be all clumpy. And I'm going to go ahead and with uh, two minutes left, I'm going to get my little strainer ready so that I can pour it. I can uh, pour the cold water. Strainer's in place over the sink. So once this is done, we can go ahead and uh, get the ramen situated. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to tossing this, separating it, make sure that we're cooking evenly throughout. It's been six minutes. We're, we're looking real red and pink here. 
so I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to fully cook the pork before I take it out. So I will probably just leave it while I um, work on getting the ramen situated. It's, it's about to boil over, Jesus. Jesus, come on. Don't boil over on me. <laughs> Ramen's trying to boil over on me. So, the ramen's about, the ramen is ready to come off. So, let me bring you over here so you can watch this adventure. And let's get our ramen situated. And we're done. All right. And let me come back over here, see what's going on with our pork. This is how we're looking. I think we're just about done with that. Get you a better view of the action. Um, but yeah, I think we're about done with this. Okay, grab a plate. So we're gonna add in our vegetables. Start with the zucchini. And what else? And then uh, stir in the scallions, white. And the same pan. We need some more oil, that's the dog, I'm sure. Add some more oil, scallions, zucchini, celery. Oh, celery. I need to hurry and get the celery in here. So let's come over here really quick. And let's add our celery to the mix. That was the one thing that I forgot to do while I was over there. They're like, oh, you should just be able to set it and leave it and work on chopping up your vegetables. <laughs> that is not how that went. So, let me, my celery's looking a little dirty. Looking a little dirty here. So I'm gonna go and wash this really quick. And we're supposed to thinly slice on the diagonal. So we're going to add this to our pot over here. And let's mix it up. Oops, lay it down. All right, here we go. There's our vegetables. Oh, let's see what else are we supposed to do. So we got celery, scallions, zucchini, then we stir in the ramen and the carrots after about a minute or two. But our my zucchini isn't looking really well done, so I'm going to cook it a little bit longer because my zucchini is looking still very, very, very raw here. Very bright and very raw. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and get the, the carrots ready so they can join the mix eventually. So per the instructions, I'm going to add in the carrots. Uh, carrots. Which are already pre-shredded. Thank you so much, Sun Basket. Uh, this one looks a little weird. Let's take that one out. And the ramen. This is looking full. Cool. Cool. Uh, let's do this one. Okay. Oh, they were 
other side of the bowl and they did a pan. I, I should have used the wok, doggone it! I should have used the wok! <laughs> I have regrets. I should have used my wok. This is, this is so difficult. Okay, so anyhow, moving on. Stir in arrowroot slurry. Stir the arrowroot slurry. Oh crap, I skipped a step. I was supposed to make arrowroot slurry. In a small bowl, use a fork or whisk to mix together the arrowroot powder and stir fry blend to make a, a slurry. Whoops, whoopsie. Let's do that now. I'm gonna just leave this. I'm just gonna pretend like I don't see this. I refuse to dirty up my walk because we've already committed to this, so screw it, we're doing it. So while that works, we're gonna come over here and make this slurry that I forgot to make. So this is um, arrowroot powder. Never used that before. It's new to my world. Definitely never used this before. And the stir fry, stir fry blend. Mix this up really quickly. Okay, here's our slurry. Let's go add it to our, let's go add it to our, our lo mein, chow mein, whatever it is we're making. All right, my next, I right, got you situated. All right, so we're going to stir in slurry. Interesting. Okay. All right. And we're gonna add back in our protein and top of our scallion. So note, note to self: if you ever do this again, use the wok or a bigger, or a definitely a bigger pan, because when I tell you the struggle is real out here in these streets, like, I'm barely making it in this little small behind pan. So I'm gonna just turn the heat off. I don't think we need to cook at this point, because we're just combining ingredients. And I don't want my stuff to burn. At least my low mein is looking sort of mixed. Chow mein, look out. Chow mein. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It's, she's not looking that appetizing in the pan, but it smells good. I'm gonna grab a fork and try it. I'm gonna give it a shot. Please be good, please be good. Mmm, it's okay. It's a little bland. That stir fry blend isn't doing it for me. It's not bad, it's just kind of bland. I'm not getting a lot of flavor out of this. On a scale of one to ten, I would give this a six. I'm gonna fix it with sriracha because sriracha fixes everything. Um, probably red pepper flakes also. But yeah, it's a bit bland. I was expecting more of a like a soy garlic flavor. I'm not getting that. Soy garlic ginger. I think that's what was in that stir fry mix, but I'm just not getting enough of it for the amount of food that I have here. Like, I think they should have given me more of that mix. Like maybe one more packet of the stir fry mix would have brought it to the level of flavor that I'm expecting. Um, I don't wanna add soy, because I don't wanna like water this down by adding liquids to it, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that'll just throw off the texture and make it really soupy and that's not what we're going for. Um, but yeah, it's kind of bland. It's kind of bland, honestly. So on a scale from one to 10, I would give this about a six. Um, 
probably improve it if you had like some sort of sauce that you could add to it. It's really just the sauce. Everything else is okay. Um, it just needs more ginger, more soy, more garlic, more, more flavor. Um, but yeah, take this to Jason and see what he thinks. I'm sure he's going to agree with me because he's very much a flavor king too. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Honest Try TV, where we made the chow mein with fresh ramen and stir fried vegetables and pork from Sunbasket. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys later.